Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through the best ways to solo queue and even some ways that you can rank up by only solo queuing. So I want to start this video off by saying that solo queuing is not the best way to rank up and that it can be very, very difficult to do so. You can get matched up with toxic teammates that are throwing or you get put up against a five stack and everyone on your team is solo and aren't communicating. But don't worry, it's not all bad and there's definitely some upsides to solo queuing, which we'll get into in this video. Near the end of this video, I'm going to share some of the secret benefits of solo queuing and how it's actually actually better than five stacking but again that won't be until the end of the video so be sure to stick around for that in the meantime let's get into some of these other tips Hey, before this video continues, check out Manscaped, who is today's sponsor. Manscaped creates hygiene products aiming to keep you and your balls staying fresh. They were kind enough to send me some goodies, which I'll show you right now. So the first thing I've got to say is the quality on these products is absolutely unmatched, and they have seriously been the best hygiene products I've ever used. So right here, I'm showing you the Lawnmower 3.0, which is their newest electric shaver that is also waterproof, which is a huge plus for me. Not only that, but it has a light on the front of it, making it easier to see what you're doing. Then we've got the Weed Whacker, which is an ear and nose hair trimmer. This was actually a lot nicer to use than I thought. I was really worried about putting it too far in my ear, but it was actually a really nice experience. After that, we've got everything from ball toner to ball deodorant. And I know that some of you out there are going to need this when you're sitting in a chair for eight hours a day playing rank. Come on now. Don't lie. This is actually super nice. This all came in a really nice package, which I completely destroyed in excitement of trying all the product. But you can get yours with 20% off plus free international shipping with my code SHOCK20. I have the link to this down below in the description, and I highly suggest you take advantage of this deal anyways back to the video so there's some absolute key things you need while solo queuing or everything's just going to fall apart for you the first key tip you need to be successful while solo queuing is your mindset slash attitude this can easily be the deciding factor when it comes to winning or losing a match while solo queued and i'll explain to you why now imagine you're solo queued and you have teammates who are maybe picking a lot of the wrong operators for example everyone just wants to pick a three speed fragging operator and rush a site and you're just losing rounds because of it well that's where your mindset and attitude will come into this if you have the wrong attitude and you get really upset at your teammates and start yelling at them what's that going to do well i can tell you exactly what that's going to do number one your teammates will likely start purposely throwing just to make you mad and that's actually going to make you even more mad and we all know what happens when you try playing mad you just play worse and worse and the cycle repeats so it's very important just to stay calm and try to talk to your teammates nicely and see if you can get some sort of teamwork going if you can't and they just keep throwing themselves at the other team don't worry i've got the perfect solution to this which fits perfectly into my solo queue secret which i'll explain at the end of this video until then let's go over my next tip which is communication this is so important you guys have no idea you guys have got to call out to your teammates no matter what happens if they're just rushing into sight every round like our last example then at least give them the best shot at coming out of live by giving them all the information you have on the other team even if your teammates aren't replying back to you or saying anything at all for the whole game at least they can still hear you your call out to them could be the deciding factor in whether or not you win or lose that game that's why it's so important if you're solo queued to give call outs even if your teammates don't try to give you any in return this is one of the most important things and i know that mostly everyone who solo queues just doesn't do this nobody wants to be the person to speak up first but if you want to win you got to take that step forward and give the call out next up give your team teammates positive reinforcements whenever you can what i mean by this is telling your teammates a nice try after they fail to clutch around or things such as nice shot when they get a kill you don't even have to see them get the kill like you don't have to be spectating them but if your teammate's name pops up in the kill feed saying he got someone let them know that he had a nice shot you may think this doesn't matter but you want to be in the best possible terms with your teammates at all times if you're complimenting them and giving them call outs that's the best way to get on their good side and maybe have them try to win a bit more this is also a great way to meet some new friends friends and maybe put together a five stack so that you don't have to solo queue anymore i talked more about this in a lot of my other tip videos so i won't go too much into it but if you'd like to watch those i'll have my tips playlist linked down below in the description anyways though to summarize this one supporting your teammates verbally and getting on their good side is a great way to make new friends find a five stack and overall increase your chances of winning while solo queued all right for my next tip i want to go over something which i get asked about a lot and that's what operators for attack and defense that i think are the best for solo queuing so i'll give you guys a quick list of some of my my favorite operators to play while solo queued but before i do that if you guys have found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel if you guys want to go one step further be sure to turn on those notifications so that you never miss another video like this anyways on to my list of the best solo queue operators so i'll start with some attacking operators first i'll give you the list then quickly explain why i think each operator is good for solo queuing both of these lists are in no particular order so for number one we have nomad number two is gridlock number three is sledge 
Number four is Ash. And finally, for number five, we have Ace. I try to keep this to just five operators so that this video isn't an hour long, but there are definitely some other very solid choices for solo queuing. If you guys would be interested in a video entirely on the best solo queue operators for attack and defense, be sure to like and comment under this video for that. If this video gets 4,000 likes or enough comments asking for it, I'll make that video soon. Anyways, let's get into why I chose each of these operators. We'll go down the list from number one to number five. So the first operator we have is Nomad. Nomad is perfect for solo queue. She's got great weapons and secondary gadgets, making her very versatile. On top of that, she has the ability to watch her own flank and not rely on her teammates to do that for her. Nomad is actually a very big part of my solo queue secret, which I'll be going over very soon. Next up is Gridlock. She's very similar to Nomad where she can watch her own flank and is overall pretty versatile. Then we have Sledge. There's not much I can really say about him. I mean, he's Sledge. You can't ever go wrong with Sledge. After that is Ash. With her recent change to give her three breaching rounds and her primary gadget, paired with three breach charges, she can be a one-man army when it comes to soft destruction. And finally, we have Ace. Want to open that garage wall on Consulate, but it's got a meat jammer on it, and your teammates won't go above to get it off? Well, you're in luck. Just go above and breach charge the floor and get it off yourself. And don't worry about anyone shooting back at you because you have one of the best guns in the entire game. Jokes aside, though, Ace is a true one-man army when it comes to solo queuing. Next up, let's cover the defending operators. So once again, I'll make a list of five defenders and I'll give you my reasoning for picking them. So number one, we have Smoke. Number two is Mute. Number three is Malusi. Number four is Legion. And finally, for number five, we have Jaeger. All right, so let's just get right into it. So for number one, I said Smoke, and I think that just speaks for itself. Smoke is so versatile and important on so many different bomb sites that you just really can't go wrong picking him. Next up was Mute. I picked Mute because he can be played a bit more aggressively compared to Smoke, but he's just as versatile. And for my third pick, Malusi. If you've ever played against Malusi, you know exactly why she's on this list. After that is Legion. Legion's got a solid loadout and can place traps to cover his back. What is it there to like about Legion? And finally, Jaeger. The perfect opera to step up and frag out if your teammates aren't. So let me know what you guys think of my list down in the comments. I'd love to hear what other operators you think should be included on these lists. Anyways, with all that said and done, let's move into what you've all been waiting for. It's time to talk about my solo queue secret. This is something that you can use to get a lot better at Siege, and it's something that most people don't think about. So here it is. While solo queuing, I want you to think that you're in a constant 1v5. Think as if you have no teammates at all. You should still try to help them win, but never count on them. Don't ever think they have your back. Always rely on yourself, never your teammates while solo queuing. This is a big mistake that most people make and it could lead to a ton of losses here's how you should go about doing this take some of those operators that gave you earlier such as nomad and go into the round asking yourself what's the best way to win this 1v5 nomad is perfect because you have a gun with a lot of bullets in the mag to take multiple gunfights at once if needed and you can use her primary gadget to watch your own back instead of relying on your teammates find ways to do this on both attack and defense and this will help you not only get a lot better as an individual but also teach you how to win 1vx clutches more often before this video gets too long though i'm probably gonna have to end it here if you guys want a part two on this again leave me some comments and get this video to 4,000 likes and i'll make that be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so that you don't miss that video when it comes out anyways though thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day